Let's start. The project name is the Alarm Manager. Let's see the project structure. We have set up the view binding at the app level build.gradle file. Here we have the main activity and broadcast receiver. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. The broadcast receiver is registered in the manifest file like this. Since the alarm manager needs to work even if the app is not in the foreground, the broadcast receiver needs to be registered in the manifest file, so that it stays alive even if the app is not working in the foreground. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have two buttons, the start alarm and the stop alarm. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is the broadcast receiver. Whenever an alarm gets triggered, we call this broadcast receiver and show a toast. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we set up the view binding. Then we create an intent of the broadcast receiver and get the alarm service. Then we create a pending intent of the broadcast receiver. When the start alarm button is clicked, we call the alarm manager.set function, where we set the time and pending intent in it. The alarm manager.rtc attribute does not wake up the Android device. So this alarm will be fired after 5 seconds of clicking this button. When the stop alarm button is clicked, this is how we stop the alarm using the pending intent. Let's run the app. I have clicked the start button. So now an alarm will be fired after 5 seconds. I have clicked the start button again. And before the alarm could fire, I clicked the stop button, so now the alarm won't be fired. So that's it. That's how you can implement an alarm manager in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.